What is up YouTube? I hope you're enjoying my VCV rack series so far. This is part two of my quantizing tutorial. And today we're dealing with quantizing gates and triggers horizontally using AND logic. So if you're thinking, what the hell is that? Stay tuned and you'll see. It's a little bit easier to understand when looking at a patch and listening to the different effects. So without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at what I'm talking about. So the patch is the same as I left off last week. I've just kind of moved things around a little bit um, just to kind of make things a little bit easier to show you in this week's episode. As far as the sound is concerned, this is the, um, the sequencer that's controlling the hi-hats. And specifically with a modular environment, I like to create a sort of more randomized way of creating hi-hats. And I find the sort of drum sequencer style layout isn't very conducive for that way of creating hi-hats. So I came up with an idea of using an LFO and, and logic to create a kind of very easy to sweep through different kind of like rhythms and stuff, a very easy way to control uh, sort of randomized hi-hat patterns. So I'm just going to move this uh, TRACQ over a little bit. <clears throat> so this BOOL, B -O -O -L module by Bog Audio is very cool because it's very small and what it allows you to do is send two triggers and it's got an AND output. And this output triggers when both of these triggers are up. So essentially if you've got, let's say we clock the hi-hats to a 16th pattern and then we send a square LFO um, to this pattern over here, when both of those are active, then it's going to send out a trigger over here. So let's put in an LFO and then let's choose the square output over here and send it to the second input. So here what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn this pulse width all the way down. So it's just creating a very small pulse and it doesn't kind of overlay a couple of the triggers. And let's send the AND output into the gate input for our hi-hats. Replace this little TRSEQ that we had over here. So now let's listen to what's going on. So you see now we've created a kind of very cool way of both creating a kind of build up for the hi-hats, you know, using the frequency over here and it kind of adds in more and more of those hits. But using the reset over here, we're able to kind of at the beginning of every bar, reset the pattern. So you get kind of like, you can create a, a kind of, you know, on beat pattern that kind of goes more and more out of time and then snaps back into the time base. So, um, we can actually go ahead and, and remove this uh, TRSEQ because that's no longer doing anything. And we saved a ton of space in our rack and we've created, in my opinion, what I think is actually a better way of creating hi-hats because it's a little bit more playable, it's a little bit more malleable. You know, and just using the one frequency knob over here, you've got the variety of creating, you know, all sorts of crazy different hi-hat patterns. And I've actually just clocked this to 1 over 32, if I'm not mistaken here, um, just to give us more... Um, the ability to create faster rhythms as we turn the frequency higher. So yeah, let's have a listen to what we're talking about. And that's pretty much it in terms of this patch. Um, you know, actually, uh, the concept is a little bit complex, but implicating it is actually not that hard. So yeah, let's, let's play around with this a little bit.
awesome. Let me know what you guys think. That's how you quantize gates and trigger signals in VC VRAC or generally in a modular environment. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll be showing you some more interesting techniques with VC VRAC. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.